Hello guys, long time no see. If uh, you haven't been here before, I'm Lenny. I've got eight dogs, six dachshunds, and two miniature pinches. And now, if you have been here before, things have changed because now I also have a nearly six week old baby. And I was hoping my first video back would be a bit more professional, in style, whatever you want to say. Um, but no, we're going to crafts, which I think is like, last my last video wasn't far off of us going to cross which was a year ago so <laughs> sorry about that um but yeah i'm just getting ready because i'm in a rush because now i have a baby and apparently that changes everything <laughs> and um we're going to crafts but we're also going to stay in an airbnb this is gonna be our first time going with eight dogs and one baby which you've seen videos before of going on holiday with eight dogs on my channel but have you seen it with a baby anyway i thought i'd uh, start the video here while I get ready and um, tell you what our plan is basically. So we've got a field booked en route to the Airbnb. The Airbnb know we have eight dogs by the way. I think someone's asked me that before. Oh, oh what on earth is that? Oh it's like the you know the thing that they put inside jumpers so you can hang it. Um, the Airbnb do know that we have eight dogs on a baby. Um, we are going to an Airbnb in Gloucester so that it splits up my journey to Crufts tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to Crufts and I'm taking Elsa and the baby. Which, um, I was going to do a whole video about us bringing the baby home, introducing the baby to you guys, introducing the baby to the dogs. Um, but what happened is I ended up in hospital for a week. <laughs> um, which if you want more information on that just pop it in the comments and I'll maybe do a QA and a video. Um, and we brought her home and introduced her to the dogs and the dogs have been heavenly. So again, if you want a video on that as well, I was going to do one, but I lost the footage, which is really annoying, but I could at least just talk about how I did it. So we're going to the Airbnb, but en route, we've got field booked, which I will film, um, to completely knacker the dogs out because they do bark when we arrive at new places. And so it's a bit better if they're a bit more tired. And then we're going to the Airbnb and then tomorrow I'm setting off at like 7.30 in the morning, which is going to be really difficult, I think. Um, going to crafts, we're doing Discover Dogs, which I'll probably take you through when I'm at Discover Dogs, like what it is, if you, do, if you don't know. Um, and then staying there another night for a little, little getaway. And then we're going home. <laughs> but I'm going to take you with me, if that's okay. That's my first video back. Sorry about the state of me. I'm in the baby's room now, which is now my getting ready room and the baby room, not just the getting ready room. I'm doing all of this on my phone because I can't be bothered to carry a camera. That's too much effort. And um, yeah, I'll check in with you when we're at the field. I've packed everything. Maybe I should have filmed that. <laughs> I haven't though, I have not filmed that. I'm packing for eight dogs, two adults, a baby, it was a lot of packing. We've got a van, if you don't already know, so it's a lot easier. But yeah, I'll check in at the field. So we're all packed up, ready to go. Get around my dirty van. Listen to a baby crying, because she wants to get driving. Got this stuff. Baby. Nemo and food. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but look, Nemo. And food. So this is the new realistic arriving at a field. <laughs> so uh, she asked for food, so she gets food. At this age, they eat when they want to eat. So um, the dogs are currently in the field with John, who they don't really like to follow as much as me. So he's having to very much coax them into a walk in this cold. I will show you the outside in a minute. Um, and I'm in the van feeding little one. New life, people, new life. I'll show you the field in a minute and hopefully get some clips of the dogs, which is what you're here for probably, so hopefully. So this is why I couldn't feed her outside, because as you can see, it's been snowing and it's very, very snowy and sludgy and very cold. So feeding her in the van was the only option. It's not raining now though, which is good, but now I need to go and find the dogs <laughs> because they are somewhere. Oh, I think I can see them miles ahead. So I'll let you know when I find them. I think they found me. Hello! But 
but I don't think they know it is me. I'm thinking, well, I don't know. Let's get a bit closer to them. Hello, doggers! It's your mama. What are you doing, you plonkers? Where's your mum? You do. Come on then. Off we go. Come on. Come on then. All right, down you get. Yeah, that's mummy. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Come on then. Norma, that was stupid. Uh-oh, too excited. I've only been gone 12 minutes. Nemo absolutely loves it when it snows, huh? Oh. Beautiful. Nemo loves it when it's like this. And snowy because it's really padded for his running. <laughs> he loves it. Sausage suit. Sausage suit. Oh, very muddy doggies. Doing good in. Mimi! What are you doing, Mimi? Go, 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 go! Chilly. Feels. Oh, John, you can't do it when you see you're holding. <laughs> Stop. Oh. Definitely feels like spring. No? Very cold, those are doggies. We've just arrived at the cottage, or whatever you want to call this. Oh, <laughs> and the dogs are just doing their sniffing, and it is snowing. We've got these big doors. John's just getting the baby out of the van. Very tired baby. It's lovely and snowy. My dogs are just sniffing around. John. <laughs> lovely. Do you want to see the baby? Sleepy baby. <laughs> Waiting for pizza now. Aren't we, Evie? Yeah. Good day. Awesome. Hey, cuppy baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good girl.
we've just had a quick break so I'm just going to talk into my phone you might not be able to hear me and I might have to overdub this Elodie has been wide awake the whole time but has been good as gold Elsa is here asking every single person that walks past for food the other longs are here up on here and it's very 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 busy for this Thursday last you'll see in my video last year it was not this busy Anyway, that's why there's not been any videoing, because we were late, there was loads of snow, which you would have seen in my last video, and yeah. That's a bit crazy, isn't it, Belsie? The treaters. Guys. <laughs> Hello, Douglas. All packed up, ready to go shopping now. No video prior to this. Baby's waiting for her way out. Quieting down, we're going to do a bit of shopping. Any photos you've taken, you're going to have to send to me. I don't think I've got that very. leave early and get these little pooches home i'll tell you why we're leaving early in the next clip tomorrow i'm sure <laughs> yeah we're going home <laughs> hello everyone so welcome back <laughs> it is now the morning and we are back home and in bed and i thought i would just do a, qu a quick recap oh my god i'm so tired sorry this is going to be an absolute jumble of um what went on and why we're home so obviously we set off with the dogs we went to the dog field it was very snowy it was not snowing down here but it was very snowy up there when dog field was fine though um they were pretty dry by the time we got to the airbnb right first issue airbnb perfect garden of airbnb no grass which our dogs aren't used to they'll go on turf and they'll go on grass but they weren't gone anything else. So we thought that might be a problem, but we carry on. We ordered Domino's, we settled in, and then I realized that I forgot my tickets to Crufts and my parking ticket to Crufts. Now, as a dog exhibitor, you have different kind of passes to the ones that you just sort of print off your phone or, or whatever. So panic sets in, we've driven all this way, I don't have my passes. Um, thankfully, Shannon, who I did last year's crafts with, um, had two tickets for two dogs. So she said, well, look, instead of me bringing two and you bringing one, why don't we just bring one each? So we were about to do that, but then the organiser contacted me and said, don't worry, these things happen. I'll meet you outside and give you a ticket. So that was all fine. He said, meet me at 10. So I would have been a little bit late meeting but that's fine so um we stay overnight but dogs still aren't going to the toilet so we take them out individually on lead to the grassy patch sorry my eyes are like falling asleep um and that sort of does the job but still not sure if some of them have gone because it's like pitch black hard to tell isn't it so anyway wake up in the morning literally in a rush got to get everything done got to get all the dogs weed weed and everything um set off with an hour and a half to do a 55 minute journey that was not enough time with the snow there was loads of accidents obviously there's lanes closed and stuff um temporary speed limits blah 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 i was late so i set off at half past eight to get there for 10 and it should have taken me 50 55 minutes i didn't get there till 20 to 11 the poor guy waiting for me at the foyer <laughs> although I don't think he did wait for me I think he just waited for me to call him when I got there so we arrived got on the bus which was difficult because they didn't put the ramp down for the buggy lazy buggers excuse me you need to get loads of baby noises in this um got there Shannon had only just arrived she was coming from Wales and her like two hour journey took over four hours 
So we set up really quick and instantly people wanted to speak to us about the dogs. So we literally just didn't have any time to like introduce what we were doing. I didn't have any time to fi film anything. Um, but I did get some clips, which you, this is the end of the video. So you should have seen it, everything by now. Um, so we were there all day, didn't have time for lunch, nothing. Elodie was an absolute saint. Elsa was a saint. That part was all easy. We then finished at four. We saw loads of people, loads of Nemo and crew, customers and friends and small businesses came by and said hello. Met Elodie, which was lush. Um, and then we went out of Crufts, tried to look for some treats. My favourite treats for like just little ones that aren't too expensive is pet munchies, but they weren't there. So that was a shame. So I was saving to see them. Um, they couldn't really find any good treats at Crufts this year, like good deals, nothing really. We've got some Nature's Menu superfood bars, which are quite good for leaving with the dogs when we leave them because they're quite soft, so they can't choke on them. Um, so we've got some of those. So as a tip, if you're looking for something to just leave with your dog just to get out of the door, um, that's safe. They're, they're definitely safe, I would say. And they last that little bit of time to get out the door. Um... So we start heading back and John says, when you get back, should we just head home? Because the dogs have been really struggling to go to the toilet today. Obviously he had the rest of the dogs at the Airbnb. Um, and I think we got back and forth, yeah, let's just pack up and leave because it's not fair for the dogs to feel stressed about going to the toilet. Like it's such a basic need. <laughs> so, um, so we set off, got back last night at about 10, went to bed. Elodie slept for five hours. I think it was quite a lot for her little brain, um, which is five hours for her is a long stint. And then wake up, had a feed, and then we've just woken up now and I'm going to stay in bed. My plan is to stay in bed. So no more to this video. There's nothing interesting to happen. <laughs> I feel like there's probably loads that I have missed out in this video. So please pop questions in the comments and I'm going to do my next video as a Q&A. So that can be anything related to the dogs, LED, me, the business, whatever. Pop them in the comments and I will do a Q&A next. So I'll pick out some comments that I can answer and answer. I hope you're all well. I've missed you all. I had every intention of doing loads of videos during my maternity leave. But I didn't have a very good birth and the end of my pregnancy wasn't very good either. So I haven't done any videos but here's my little vlog at Crufts and John's playing guitar in the background very loud. So I hope you enjoy that little bit of background music <laughs> and I will see you soon. Oh yeah and it's Dachshund, not Dachshund, not Dachshund, Dachshund. Bye.